Hello and welcome to Burn, Burn 20 on this beautiful morning. We're going to focus today on the integration of the core. It won't mean that we're doing crunches all the time, but we're going to see if we can integrate that core in a nice, effective way in movement, nice and dynamic. So what do you need in that? If you have blocks, that's super helpful. I will show you why they're helpful later on. Um, and you can do it also without. So don't worry if you don't have them. Then making sure that we are a little energized through music, you might want to put on your own little bit of sound. I have some sound here in the studio but you won't be able to hear that so get yourself ready we're going to start nice and hip width apart going into a nice squat so making sure that your weight goes to the back we're going to bring the arms up down take it down take it up arms up as you bring your lower body down keep your chest nice and open that's it good let's get into that vibe shift your weight back see if you can still see your toes in front of the knees really engaging your glutes there two more last one now stay down we're going to pulse little bits that's it open up your chest draw your shoulder blades together create a little flexion in your lower spine hold it eight seven six five four three two coming up we're going to twist and squat again twist and squat good twist and squat and twist and squat a little quicker we go twist and squat and woo, there goes my microphone really good keep on going twist and squat and twist and squat last two woo, last one good pulse again really good let me correct this put it back on my ear good four three two one really good now gotten to the top of the mat we're going to bring ourselves into that squat like position shift the weight over to the left left leg tap back the right and tap back the left right left stay down right left really good right and left good good keep on going good there we go four more three two one now come back to the first side hold it there lift your upper body upward and start to pulse the back leg really good bring your arms into the sides into a t-shaped position hold it four three two one we twist and we twist same side all the way toward that front knee really good four more three two and one good lengthen your back leg bring your arms to your hips then extend them overhead good that's it eight seven six five four three two one stepping back to the front changing sides good then stay here lift up the upper body we drop the knee good drop the knee that's it slowly bring your arms into a t four more three two and one now twist twist and open twist and open keep the length going through the spine really good four three two one beautiful lengthen your upper body forward again bend nicely through the front knee extend bring it back extend bring it back good good extend bring it back extend bring it back four more three two and one really good stepping forward again lower into that squad release that's it really good we're going to bring the right leg to the back we call this a curtsy lunge so it's on the toe it's on the ball of the foot toes are tucked under and we're lifting the heel we're going to take it down there down and up. down that's it down Woo. down good eight seven six five four three 
two, of course we stay down. So take it down and pulse. You can do it. Let that glute warm up. Shift your weight a little bit more forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we take it back for two and on the next. See if you can lift up the back leg. Lift it up. Good balance. Back for two. Lift it up. That's it. Back for two. Lift it up. Really good. Two more. Woo! And that's it. That's it. Last one. Good. Coming back to the pulsing. We pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awesome. Take it to the other side. We do the same. So take the foot to the back and we go down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Pressing down into the feet. Get into that connection to the floor. Down and up, down and up. Really good. Two more. Last one. And of course we pulse, 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 pulse. Good. Shift the weight a little forward onto the front leg. Let's warm up that glute. Really good. Four, three, two. Then bring your weight back. Two to the back. Two on the leg. Really good. Two to the back. Two on the leg. Good, good, good. Two to the back. And on it. And to the back. And on it. Really good. Two more. To the back we go. Take it onto the leg. Really good. Last one. And take it on the leg. Then take yourself to the back. Lift your arms up and pulse. Last little bit. Eight, seven, six. You're doing good. Four, three, two, one. Release. Gently shake your legs out. I hope they feel a little warm already. Really good. Now we're going to grab that block if you are ready for a challenge. So we're going to make sure that we step on top of the block with our right leg starting. Then we lift our arms up and we call this single leg mountain in yoga, but you can also just call it standing on one leg. Good. From there, we're going to go all the way down. Let's see if we can tap our own ankles and lift up again. Really good. Down all the way and lift up. Good. Down all the way. Feel the balance. So if you're doing this without your, uh, without a block, you're just doing basically the same. On the block provides a little bit more of a challenge. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. We go four more. Down we go. And up we go. Down we go. Tap it. Up we go. Really good. Looks so easy. It is not. Standing leg is really firing up here. Good, good, good. Last one. And then extend your leg to the back a little bit. Drop your fingers low. We're going to see if in balance we can go low and up again. Single leg deadlift, but without any weights here, just with the activation of the body. Three more. That's it. Two. And one. Good work. Standing leg is fired up. We're going to bring the knee all the way up. Hold it. Lengthening and release. Really good. Take it to the other side. We do the same with or without block. Does not matter. Same activation block is a little bit more exciting, but maybe you're not looking for exciting today. So here we go. Lifting the leg up and get ready and steady. Going down. Let's see if we can really touch the ankles. Lift up again. Find that balance. Wobbling is totally okay because wobbling allows the body to learn to balance. So we're not looking for perfection here. We are looking for a little bit of flow. So move slow and nice and steady, feeling that strength and that beautiful balance between strength, flexibility, which produces a beautiful flow and graceful movement. Last one. Really good. Doing good. Extending the leg to the back, allowing the fingers to reach down. We go down slow. You don't have to go all the way down. Maybe every time you go down a little bit more. That's totally fine. Holding on to balance. Challenging ourselves here. Definitely if we're standing on a block. Really good. Three more. 
Bring yourself up. And maybe you're noticing one leg is way better at balancing than the other leg. That sometimes happens. Last one. Bring it all the way down. And all the way up. Bring the knee forward. Straighten the standing leg. Extend your arms. Ta-da. Here we are again. Three, two, one. Really good. Release it. Shake your legs out. We're going to come and sit down. Take your block with you if you have one. It can prove useful. Cross your ankles, sit and roll over, bringing your block forward, otherwise it's just your arms. Also works. So block your arms and we're going to roll down, tap the block overhead and roll up again. Beautiful. Curving the spine, curving up again. Good. Curve down. Curve up. That's it. Curve down. Boom. Curve up. Good, good. Keep your feet grounded. Don't lift those feet. Good. Two more. Whoop. Bring it up. Last one. Woo. That's it. Bring it up. Now go a little to the back. Now tap one and the other side. Good. One side. Boom. The other. Boom. Russian twists really good if you want to pump up this a little bit you want to make it a little bit more interesting then you can lift your legs up as you're twisting so then you go one side and the other side while you remain in balance good four more three that's it two and one that's it release look up lengthening out second set are we ready i hope you are take a deep breath in and a long breath out here we go rolling down tap rolling up extend roll down tap chin to chest extend roll down tap chin to chest extend good that's it you want to feel every vertebrae along your way down rippling upward along your way up two more bring it up good last one and rolling up that's it we tap and lean yourself back a little tap and 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 tap double we go one two go one two go one two go one two that's it that's it good 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 last four boom three boom two and one good extend your legs reach over take a moment to stretch in a forward fold Ah, deep breath in trying not to squish my microphone here long breath out Woo! well done we're going to roll over crossing the ankles coming into a plank position so we are not going in full plank just yet. Come onto all fours, then walk your knees a little to the back, making sure that you keep your shoulders beautifully aligned over your hands, hugging the elbows in. Then we tuck the toes and we're going to lift one knee, the other knee, take it down and down. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Changing sides every time. Really good, that is it. Four more, whoop, down and down. Three, whoop, down and down. Two, whoop, down and down. Last one, that's it, that's it. Now come into a plank, boom and stay. We're going to drop the hip low and lift up again. Drop the hip low and lift up. This is a bit too much. You can do the same onto your knees. So it's about engaging those side flanks. Four more. Three, two, one. Stay and hold the plank. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take a child's pose. Ah, breathe. Good work. Let's walk our hands over to the right side, creating a side body stretch. Allow your heels to really ground, or your hips to ground to the heels. That's it, really good. Other side, walking to the other side. Whew. Good, nice side body stretch. Really good, really good, really good, really good. Release it here. 
Gently come up, sit up, bring your hands to the back, open up your chest. Mm. Gaze up to your ceiling, deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep breath in. Long breath out, really good. Shake your hands loose, cross your ankles. We're going back to that reclined position. Now this time, really lie down all the way. Bring your feet a little inward, bring your arms overhead and start to windshield wipe your legs side to side for a little bit, a little release in the hips. Whoo, good. Then we do one more little exercise, which really allows for a full body, full core activation. So we're extending the legs up. And then from here, just going to bring my microphone down so it doesn't bother me. We're going to gently let the legs come down and then we lift the hips up. So legs come down and lift the hips up. Legs come down, lift the hips up. So that's your shoulder stand right there. Good. Two more. Last one. And then maybe you want to hold on to your back. Hold on to your shoulder stand. Gaze up to your toes, nowhere else. Really good. Whew. Maybe into plow pose. Good, and then gently, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll your spine back down. Bending the knees, bring the elbows on the inside, grab your feet, go into happy baby or happy Buddha. So whatever variation suits you. Ah, opening the hips a little bit more. Whew. One more deep breath in here. Good, releasing, bringing the knees together. We're going to allow the knees to fall over to the right side as we gaze over to the left. Bring your arms into a T or hold on, on top of the left knee. Ah, extending. Let's take our hand palms facing up here. Deep breath. If you want to take any other variation, that's fine too, don't worry. Really good. Back to center. Inhale. And on the exhale, take it over to the other side. Gaze away from the fallen knees. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Good. Rinse yourself out. Good work. Coming back to center. Hold your hands onto your knees. We're circling them gently in little circles, open and then reverse. That's it. Then hug yourself inward. Create yourself a little, little bowl. Hold that for four, three, two, and release on one. Rock and roll. So grab hold of the back of the legs, gently coming up and back, come up and roll over, tuck your toes, and gently from there, come into a standing position. You made it. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale, release. Well done. I hope you enjoyed, and have a beautiful day. You can be proud of yourself for starting it this way. See you soon.